Every CFO must decide how to fund their business. Those who are risk averse might go with an all equity approach. Other risk loving CFOs might use a lot of debt. There really is no one right answer as to how much of your financing should come from debt or from equity. However, there are several wrong answers to be aware of. If a firm has steady positive cash flows and earnings, they can afford to carry some debt. Because of the tax yield effect on the interest expense, the WAC will drop down a bit, which will drive up firm value. In fact, the value of the firm is expected to increase by the corporate tax rate times the amount of debt borrowed. We refer to that formula as TCD. In other words, adding debt will add value to the company by the corporate tax rate times the amount of debt being added up to the point where the firm's risk profile begins to change. But what if a company is losing money? Well, they might not want to have any debt at all. Debt adds risk, and being in a bad position to start with is probably all the risk that the firm can handle until it solves their profitability problem. So how much debt should a firm take on? Well, if it takes on too much debt, the firm can put itself in financial distress and introduce the risk of bankruptcy. Financial distress might cause talented employees or good customers to leave because they don't want to bear the risk of going out of business, which might hurt them as well. And losing key employees or customers could hurt the value of the firm. So we don't want to get too far out of control with our borrowing activities. If the firm value goes up when it adds debt to a point and its value goes down when it adds too much debt, the implication is that there's an optimal level of debt for a company to carry. While this is true in theory, we don't really have a way to calculate the costs of financial distress, so we can't set that equal to TCD and solve for the optimal level of debt. But if our firm's cost of financial distress is higher than our competitors, we should probably carry less debt than they do. Sometimes we can gain an advantage from being in financial distress. For example, we might be able to negotiate a more favorable terms with a supplier or our labor union. However, normally we consider financial distress to be a state that we would like to avoid. As we learn when exploring the cost of capital, a good way to decide how much risk you're comfortable bearing is to look at the debt that is held by the other firms in your industry. If you're okay with a lot of risk and your macroeconomic outlook is positive, you might want to bear a lot of debt relative to your competitors. If risk bothers you, then obviously you should take on less debt. Normally, staying somewhere in the middle of your sector is probably the safest place to be when it comes to debt to equity ratios or capital structures. At Ford, we were comfortable bearing a reasonably high level of debt as long as we remained less risky than Chrysler. The idea was that in a re if a recession hit, Chrysler would fall into financial distress and their customers would leave Chrysler. Some of them would come to Ford, improving our financial position just when we needed it the most. So we were comfortable taking on debt as long as we stayed safer than Chrysler. 